<laughs> oh, God damn it. You knew that was going to happen, didn't you? Look at this setup. This is fucking nuts. Okay, here we are. Hang on, let me get this cast, and then I can talk to you nice folks. We got up this morning at 5 a.m. to get out here for first light. We got our line in the water. We didn't even take any time to do any rig rundown or anything because we wanted to get a line in so quick. So here we go. Geez, something's fucking going on with that, I think. We're going after salmon. The Chinook salmon are running on the old Columbia River. We're going to make you the most delectable, savory, crunchy, umami pork cutlet schnitzel that you've ever had in your life with a warm potato salad. I'm Nate P and this is Shore Lunch. There's some guys. Brian Stormo. The weather's bullshit today. It's gonna be warm, but it's so windy right now. It's just, ugh, ugh. Our, our production assistant, Amy, had to run into town to get us sweaters. Eric, you know what we ought to get? Ah. A shot of our new Crocs together. The fish that we're going for, the Chinook or King Salmon, are ocean running fish that are moving up into the Columbia River from the Pacific Ocean to spawn. What we've heard reports of is at the mouth of the river about a week ago, a squad of about 1,400 fish had entered. We think that they're gonna be running through this area any day now. The most popular salmon get a ride in this to their spawning grounds. We didn't swear enough in the last episode, so we're gonna be doing some dirty old shit poop talk in this one to make up for it. <laughs> you know, the uh, swearing is a sign of intelligence. I don't know if you knew that or not. Oh yeah, if you noticed, I got this new tight shirt that Amy went and picked up for me in town because it was so cold. We're hearing different reports from different sources. These guys said that the fish already had run and the, they we're just waiting for stragglers. The guys at the bait shop were saying that the run hasn't quite started yet. Who knows? I don't know shit. <laughs> this is the rig, this is a plunking rig. Got a couple things happening here, nine foot long rod. I got 60 pound braid. This thing here is called a spreader bar. It's a piece of wire. Holds a six ounce weight off the bottom. And then you got this, you know, 30 inch, uh, 30 inch, 20 pound mono leader. I got the barb pinched down, because this is all barbless out here. Now I'm gonna put the shrimp on. Look at that thing spin. Now we'll wait for this sucker to bend over. We got another bad boy boater coming up here. It's actually full of children's toys. The children of Portland are ravenous for toys. A couple birds of prey. Oh yeah. That's neat. We got some heavy smudge. Ugh. Some heavy duty smudge. Oh, shit. I instinctively knew that I was having problems down there just from being a really excellent fishing person. Oh man, that's got a smell to it. Whew. He's doing some bounce trolling. That looks uncomfortable. Goodness gracious. Two shrimp on this time. Not one shrimp, but two shrimp. Oh yeah, that's a power pontoon. That guy's going whipping for whammies. You know what that is? They call salmon in these parts whammies. He's out there whammy whipping. <laughs> if you ever want to try that, leave that in the comments. That's another wobbler whacker, looks like to me. Look at that thing, that's crazy. Now we're just sitting here waiting for a fish to roll by. Nice sitting log. You like this hat style? It's my new look. That's one of the problems about wearing short shorts. If you're wearing underwear that's too long, sometimes they'll peek out of the bottom a little bit. <laughs> Fishing's bullshit today. So I'm over it, I'm hungry as fuck. Uh, we're gonna cook up some food now. My hungus bungus levels are skyrocketing. <laughs> Today we're gonna cook up a beautiful schnitzel. We're gonna make this nice potato dish with some warm potatoes dressed in a little dilly herbed oil with a little bit of lemon juice. Man, instant. We'll put in some of this chicken broth, a little salt, a little pepper, 
These are red taters. Put them in. But I got myself a rotten lemon. It's soft here. So we're gonna cut into this and see what the hell's going on. This is gonna be exciting. Oh yeah, that's looking good. We're gonna do some crispy fried shallots on these potatoes. That should be about good for our purposes. We're gonna put these guys in, in here in this little bowl, right? We're gonna salt them, we're gonna pepper them, and I'm just gonna put in a little bit of flour. We're gonna make little tiny crispy shallots. Okay, we're good on that. We're gonna set those aside for a minute. So real quick, we're gonna butterfly these guys up. We're just gonna take these and we're gonna just cut the fat. Okay? You can leave a little bit on, that's okay. Well, now when you're cutting things on the bias, you gotta be really careful not to cut your hands. You see how my hand's flat like this? Almost pointed up so I don't gotta worry about cutting it with this blade. This knife is sharp as shit. And I'm not gonna cut all the way through either. I'm just gonna butterfly that bad boy. We wanna pound these pretty thin. Look at this. This is doing a couple different things. It's putting it flat for even cookery, and it's also tenderizing. Please leave in the comments what this thing actually is. It's heavy, I mean, it's gotta weigh at least a pound. Anyhow, let's get back to whacking these chops. Chop whacking. You know, here on Shore Lunch, we don't like the man. The man just came down and shut us down because apparently there's a fire ban here. Uh, so that's kind of a drag. <laughs> well, we're using a little bitty bur a little bitty propane burner. We're gonna pack it up and go back to Eric and Amy's house and do this right in the backyard. I think we've done it once before, right? I think we did, yeah. We did. So let's uh, let's pack it up. For us, it's gonna take about an hour. For you at home, the magic of the internet. In three, two, one. The potatoes are completely done and have stayed hot in this pot, which is great. A little olive oil. Let's say two tablespoons. One, two, okay? This is mustard made right here in good old Oregon. Let's put in about a uh, tablespoon. How's that sound? Organic white wine vinegar. Put in about a tablespoon of that, eh? This is a weird lemon. But you know what? I'm a weird person, so this is all gonna work out very well. Salt, crushed black pepper. Oh, uh, we got this dill right out of Eric and Amy's garden, so we'll just do a pinch of dill. Start mixing. Little mustard, little oil, little dill, little bit of white wine vinegar, a lot of flavor. I'm gonna drizzle this on the potatoes now, okay? Get these all nice and coated, okay? Did that light? Canola oil. You know I like canola. It's high heat. It's a shallow fry. Flour, half the amount of salt and pepper. Panko breadcrumbs. Are you ready for these eggs? Look at that, I'm so terrible. I got all these eggshells in here. God, have you ever seen such an inept host? People look at me and say, Can you, how is he even alive still? There, that one's better, right? You ready for this? These are these shallots. We dressed them up with just a little salted and peppered flour. I wanna cook these guys until they're nice and golden brown. Okay, these are done. I'm gonna yank these out of here, okay? Real quick, I'm gonna just salt these guys up. I dumped the beautiful crispy onion shallot strings into the taters. Just give it a quick little toss, okay? Oh. Uh, these nice porky boys are going to be firstly put into the flour. We'll shake it off. We'll do a little egg wash, right? A little egg, wa egg washy on these guys. And then we'll go right over the top into the panko. Is there a reason you have them ordered in a different order than you're doing them in? I think the uh, answer to that's an obvious one. It's because I'm an idiot. And I'm just going to put it in here. I mean, that's just perfectly fine. Look at that. Here you see this golden brown edge that's happening there? That's gonna be perfect in just a few minutes to flip. I want that all the way around. And I want that golden brown to come a little over halfway up. Thanks, dude. I am so happy with how this is turning out. Fishing might have sucked, but dude, we are really getting it with these crispy, uh, crispy porkers. 
I am less sweaty than usual for some reason though. This is a done guy. I'm gonna pull it, okay? And we're just gonna set it here to drain off. When you get it out of the hot oil, the best thing to do is season it right away. Uh, I'm hungry, you ready to eat? Do it. Okay, let's do this. You know what I'm gonna do? Lemon. You like freshness? Look at this, over everything. Over the schnitty, over the taters. A little bit in my hand too for this again. Oh. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. 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 The pork is tender and porky. Porky, is that a word? It's got such a nice crunch with this breading on the outside. And the breading is sealed to the pork. Perfectly. Like it's wearing its own breading jacket. I want everybody to hear this. It's so crunchy. It's super savory, super umami, super crunchy, and the brightness from the vinaigrette and from the lemon is just like another level. We should also talk about something really important. Fork cam. Hello, internet. America and France. Fort Cam today is brought to you by our great friends over at Alchemist Printing Company in Minneapolis. If you ever need to have shirts made, hats, bags, any screen printing needs, go see Alchemist Printing Company. They're simply the best. I heard they even do embroidery too, no joke. So the next time you do that run of embroidered hats, for your golf tournament. You go see Alchemist Printing. Look them up on the World Wide Web. Chase it with a little tater. Mm, God damn it, that's good. Today was a fun day. We didn't catch any fish. We were at the right spot though. We had the right bait, we had the right attitude, and we had the right look for the job. The fish just weren't cooperating. We got to have a nice time with friends. Made a hell of a good meal. I hope your Oktoberfest is great. Enjoy your time, America. This has been Shore Lunch with Nate B. Come on back sometime, would you? <laughs> Ta-ta. I got bad fishing in my system. Bluegill gonna be my victim.